G'day! Welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's a lovely geometry problem from the Grade 10 exam. It goes as follows. The area of triangle EBD is one third of the area of the 345 triangle ABC. Segment DE is perpendicular to segment AB. What is BD? Right, I just read that fast, I just like rambled through the, the letters here. Let me take this slowly. Geometry problem is actually very hard to read, so we do need to take it slowly. So here goes again. The area of triangle EBD, so where is EBD? EBD. Okay, the area of this triangle, the small triangle, is one third the area of the 3, 4, 5 triangle ABC. ABC. Okay, that's the big triangle. Yep, 3, 4, 5. All right, so we've just been told the small area is one third of the big area. Great. Segment DE, where's DE? Here it is, is perpendicular, what does perpendicular mean? 90 degrees to, I guess, to the segment AB, which is along the bottom. All right, so this vertical segment is actually vertical, it's 90 degrees to the horizontal segment AB. Great. Now, what's the actual question? What is BD? BD is this length here, so I want to find the length of the base of the small triangle. Lot to take in there. Um, emotionally, I don't feel too scared by this problem. It feels familiar. It feels like a, a standard geometry type question. But I'm sure there are twists and turns in it. But um, I still need to do something. I'm not quite sure what that is. So let me just engage what I call strategy number one, successful flailing. Do something, go through it, list what you know about the situation. Hopefully things will fall into place. All right, triangles. I know lots of things about triangles. But one thing I'm going to point out is they mentioned a three, four, five triangle in particular. And that's very familiar from geometry. In fact, we know that 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. The Pythagorean relation holds amongst those numbers. Don't know if that's relevant or not, but this is a piece of information. In fact, in 3, 4, 5 triangles, we know they're right triangles. That's actually Pythagoras' theorem. All right, great. So we've got a right triangle here. Well, maybe I'll draw that angle in just for fun. What else do I know? Um, oh, this question is about area. So let's, the key word is about what's about area. So uh, do I know the area of a 3, 4, 5 triangle? The answer is yes. I know its base. I know its height is 4, base 3. That area is 6. So actually, that means I know the area of the small triangle. It must be 2. Let me just put that in. Still don't know where I'm going. Actually, what was the question again? I have to reread the question. Information, information, information. Oh, what is BD? I'm trying to find this length. All right, but I know an area. What else could I do? Well, let's just keep listing more things I know. Pictures of triangles. What do I know about triangles? Um, sometimes they're similar. Is there anything I think of as a standard result from the geometry class? Oh, are they similar? Well, both triangles, the small one and the big one, have a right angle, and they both share angle at B. They're similar triangles. That's probably key. All right, now let's list, let me list all the things I know about similar triangles. So I'm just going through, like, you know, just an automated way, all the things I know. Similar triangles, all angles match exactly one thing. Could be relevant. All sides match on the same scale factor. Could be relevant. Um, anything else? This question's about area. Do I know anything about area in similarity? I do know. Area changes by the scale factor squared. I like that. These areas, 2 to 6, change by a factor of 3. And if area is changing by the scale factor squared, that means the scale factor, which I'll call k, k squared, must be 3. I now know what the uh, scale factor is between these two triangles. I know that the factor similarity must be root 3. Since I want the length here, I might have the means now to figure out this problem. I feel like I've just stumbled upon a route of possible success. So think about this problem for yourself. See if you can actually work out the length BD now that we know what the scale factor is in these similar triangles. Check out the essay if you want to check your work. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.